Hello everyone, welcome to Cyber Hachira. In my previous video, I introduced you to PKC11. I talked about slots, tokens, some prefixes, functions and few other things. Now the best way to learn PKC11 is to use it and for that you need a hardware token. So today you are going to learn about soft HSM. You will learn why you need it, how to install it and how to use it. So if you have never used soft HSM before then please try not to skip this video because I will be using soft HSM in this entire PKC11 tutorial series. So without further delay let's get started. For those who have never used soft HSM before, let me first explain what soft HSM is all about. A uh, soft HSM is a software based hardware security module or you can just call it a simulator for HSM. To learn PKCS11, you need an HSM. You can buy these devices but the price of these devices may vary depending on the type of device that you're going to buy. Uh, devices such as USB token or smart cards are some uh, affordable options but you need to buy them. You can buy these devices from eBay or Amazon or you could just buy them directly from a vendor who manufactures these devices. Or you could just save your money and use soft HSM. It is an easy way to learn PKCS11 without spending too much money on a hardware. Soft HSM is free to use and open source. It is a part of uh, OpenDNSSEC project. I will be providing a link in the description from where you can download it. Soft HSM library uses PKCS11, which means everything defined in PKCS11 works the same for Soft HSM. Soft HSM library can also be used to test a third party program that supports PKCS11 API. Soft HSM allows you to generate and manage cryptographic keys just like a, a normal HSM. However, Soft HSM is software based, so those keys are generated on the file system. And that's why Soft HSM is suitable for learning or for testing purpose. Soft HSM can also be used to perform different types of uh, cryptographic operations such as signing, encryption and hashing. And I will teach you all of that very soon in this tutorial series. But first I will show you how to install soft HSM on Windows and Linux. And I will start with Windows. I am now logged into my Windows machine. Now installing soft HSM on Windows is probably the easiest. I have already downloaded the set of files for soft HSM and OpenSC on this machine. If you want you can download these two set of files from this website. So I will be putting this uh, link in the description of this video. From this link, you should be able to download OpenSE. Uh, if you scroll down, you should see the set of files for Windows. I downloaded this one. And from this link, you should be able to download the set of file for soft HSM. This is the MSI package. And if you want, you can also download the, the portable zip archive if that's what you like. Now, soft HSM on its own is just a software implementation of hardware security module. It has a PKCS11 library, but what it lacks is any utility to generate keys or perform any kind of crypto operation. And for that reason, we need OpenSE. OpenSE has all utilities that we need for soft HSM. As a matter of fact, I can use OpenSE with any kind of hardware devices such as a smart card or a USB token. I have been able to use OpenSE with at least four different kinds of uh, hardware security module in the past. Anyways, I will first install soft HSM and here's how you do it. It's really easy. Once the installation completes for soft HSM, you should see this readme file that has some extra information about setting the path and initializing the token. I will click finish. And now I will install OpenSE. Setup has completed. I will click finish. 
once you have installed soft hsm and open sc uh, you should be able to use them via command prompt oh by the way uh what? okay i have mentioned the location of soft hsm and open sc executable in the path environment variable so here's the uh, so c program files open sc project open sc tools this is a location where all the executables of open sc exist and this is a location for all executable for soft hsm i have mentioned them in the path environment variable so now i can execute them from wherever i want all right I'll play the screen okay so the first command i'm going to execute is soft hsm2 util dash v and easy this is a simple command it just shows the version of uh, soft hsm library it's just a test i mean it means soft hsm is installed so i guess everything is good let's proceed with the next command so the next command is soft hsm dash dash show slots okay at the moment we have slot zero and this slot zero is not initialized so as you can see here it says initialize no user pin initialized no it does not have any label it does not have any serial number so this slot exists but it is not ready to use i have not uh, set up any security officer or uh, normal user on this token so to do that i would first have to initialize this token and for that the command is soft hsm util and I'll just change this to init token dash dash slot zero slot zero because this is a slot that I want to initialize dash dash label I can give it whatever name I want for example I will name it um, pkcs uh, nah, token one okay now it's asking me to enter a security officer pin pin or you can just call it a password so i will set a pin and confirm it done and now it's asking me to enter a normal user pin so i will do that perfect the token has been initialized now if i execute the command show slots I see this output so we have this slot now it has a label it says user pin initialized yes the slot itself is initialized and it also has a serial number also it has a second slot now now this every time you initialize a token soft hsm would automatically create another blank slot for you so you can initialize it so if you want to work on like multiple tokens you can do that via soft hsm for example, let's initialize this slot. I will bring the previous command. Uh, I'll change the label to token2 and slot2 two, slot1. One. This is slot1. I'll hit enter. Again, the SO pin, security officer pin. Done. And this is the user pin or the normal user account. Did I? Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. I think I entered the password incorrectly. So I thought it was. Uh, never mind. All right. Now, if I do show slots, now I see slot two, which is an empty slot created by Soft HSM. And I see slot two here, or token two, and token one here. Now, if I want to generate keys, I can generate those keys on any of these slots and I can also use them for crypto operations. All right, I'll clear the screen. And now that I have an initialized token for soft HSM, I will now show you how to use OpenSC. The name of the utility that I need to use is called PKCS11 tool. If I simply execute PKCS11 tool, it will show this help page. It has all the options to uh, 
uh, execute our PKCS11 function on a token. And like I said before, this token can be from a soft HSM or it, it can also be a real hardware security module. It can be a smart card or a USB token. Um, anyways, let's try something basic. I will clear the screen. So the first command I'm going to execute is PKCS11 tool dash dash module. Module is going to be the library of softHSM, which is located at softHSM2 lib softHSM DLL show info. Okay, I am getting an error here. And the reason for that is the softHSM library. Here's a 32-bit library and a 64-bit library. The OpenSE utility that I installed is 64-bit, so I should be using this 64-bit library. Uh, so if I change this to 64 and do sh show info, I get the version of CryptoKey, the manufacturer, and some other information about the slot. Okay. Let's try to uh, list the slots that we uh, initialized using softHSM. So the command is pkcs11 tool dash dash module. Again, the path is going to be softHSM lib and the 64-bit library dash dash list slots. And these are the slots. So we have token one, token two, and the blank slot that uh, softHSM always uh, generates. All right, so this is how you would install and use softHSM on Windows. Now I will switch to Linux and I will show you how to set up softHSM on Linux operating system. I am logged into my Linux machine now. This is Ubuntu 22.04. Um, if you're using a Linux operating system, you can download the source code for softHSM directly from uh, OpenDNSSEC website. I will leave a link in the description for this video. Um, so this is that uh, site from where I will be downloading the source code. This is the tar package. I will copy this link. wget paste once the source is downloaded the next step is to untar it so i will run the command tar xf soft um, hsm here's the source now before we start building from this source there are two dependencies that you may you may need to install on your uh, linux operating system so g++ and lib ssl dev these are the two packages that we need i'm going to install them now Okay, packages are installed. The next step is to configure the make file. So for that, I would run the command configure prefix and mention the location where I want to install uh, softHSM. So opt and I want it to be installed uh, in the directory called softHSM2. I'll hit enter. Okay, make file has been created. Now I would run the command make. Make command should take few minutes to complete. Once the make command has finished uh, compiling the source, I would run the command sudo make install. All right, so all the compiled binaries are installed in slash opt 
soft hsm2 so now we have soft hsm on linux now we will install OpenSE. so the command is sudo apt install OpenSC. Next, just like what I did on Windows, I will add path to soft uh, HSM executable in the path environment variable. So for that, I will go into the home directory and open profile file. Now I have already added this path. So this is the command. Uh, this is a location where all the binaries or the executables for soft HSM2 exist. So I'm simply appending that path into the path environment variable. This is what I'm doing. I'll save the changes and run the command source profile. Perfect. And now if I run the command soft HSM2 utils, I should get the output. Let's run the command soft HSM util dash V. So we can see the version. So 2.6.1, this is the version. Now let's uh, list the slots. So soft hsm2 util dash dash show slots. And this is the available slot. As you can see, it is not initialized. There is no user pin set to it. There are no label and no serial number. And to initialize a token, I would run the command soft hsm util dash dash init token dash dash slot zero dash dash label. Um, I'll call it Linux token zero one. Okay, it's asking for SO pin. So I'll set a pin. Now it's asking for uh, the normal user pin. Okay, token initialized. Let's have a look at those slots. So soft HSM to util dash dash show slots. And we have an initialized slot, uh, Linux token 01. Uh, it has a user pin set to it. This is initialized and it has a serial number. And obviously we have a new slot. This is uh, uninitialized and uh, if required, we can initialize it. All right. Now let's see if we can use soft HSM with PKCS11 tool. So the command that we can use to test is PKCS11 tool dash dash show info dash dash module and the path to soft hsm library which is in opt soft hsm lib soft hsm and this is the library that we need i'll hit enter and we see crypto key version 2.4 manufacturer is soft hsm and some other information Similarly, we can list the slots using PKCS11 tool. So the command is PKCS11 tool dash dash list slots dash dash module opt soft hsm lib. And this is the library path. And here's the token that we initialized. And that brings us to the end. Today you have learned how to install soft HSM on Windows and Linux. If you have any questions, then please use a comment section. Do not hesitate. I will do my best to answer those questions. In the next video, I will be using soft HSM to execute some basic PKCS11 function. So if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, then please support this channel by subscribing to it. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked it. I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Take care.